I wanted to share with you guys um, some of the things I do um, to make my art that I sell on Zazzle mostly and um, some on Etsy. And uh, this is what I make through Photoshop. And this particular one, I'm using vintage um, butterflies and flowers. Um, the fonts in the background are probably vintage. I have a collection of things. And um, I put them together with using these layers, if you see on the side. And I use different techniques, um, different things to put all this together. But I wanted to show you how if I start taking them um, off and clicking the layer and it disappears, what I'm kind of putting together. So you can see the flower disappeared, the butterfly disappeared, some um really light um butterflies in the back disappear if i click over here you can see that i made that into an overlay which is why they're light but if i change this around it does some different things with them so that's what one of my techniques and that makes the leaves disappear now we're down to some fonts um that was the smudge i did using a brush just kind of splattering some stuff on there. And there's the fonts disappearing. All the fonts are gone. There's my background I put together. I overlaid those two together to make that. And then kind of just made some color um, with one of the brushes over here for that part. So there everything is gone. And for this particular sheet, you can find it in my butterfly dominoes that i made um i'm not sure which one it was uh, there's the flower from it but one, it's one of these butterflies and um these are one by two inch and people buy these to use in domino art uh, they use them for other kinds of things you can buy pendants um that are one by two and they will print these out and put them in there and and put resin over it um but initially um I had made these for dominoes and they would do the same thing. They'll print it out and they'll glue it to a domino and they can put a, make it into a pendant or whatever that they want. So this is the listing for that set. Um, I have a few sets. I think I have a couple of sets and for the dominoes, but this is the listing on Etsy. And if you see, I show them that it prints out into an eight and a half 11 by 11 sheet. And there's, I took my images and I kind of um, called bevel and emboss on Photoshop that makes them look like what they would look like on a domino. Not really, but it depends on which kind of dominoes you're using, I guess. But so that's how I do my ad. And also for this, these type of images, because all of these are, if you noticed when I had it all put back together, um, this one makes a 12 or this makes a 12 and a half, uh, 12 by 12 sheet and, um, yeah, put everything back together. I also have this for sale on Etsy and people have bought it, um, a bunch of different, these sheets, but with different butterflies, different flowers, um, have a set of those. And I took this sheet and I've also made different things with it. Um, I've made it larger and made tissue paper for Zazzle. Um, I make, um, phone cases, put them on coffee mugs, and different kinds of things. Um, so if we go to Zazzle, whoops, you can see this on, um, this is a B one that I've made. This is on tissue paper. People like to use these not only to wrap with, but what they really like to do is do um, decoupage, where they use some type of glue and they put it on old furniture or old, uh, uh, they put it on, like TV trays, they just transfer it onto these items and then they turn around and sell it or decorate their house or whatever. So that's a tissue paper. This, um, I think this one sold four times. This is on an iPhone case, um, the same image. This is other tissue paper I've made. This is, you know, of course you can see a rooster with some vintage um, French text from probably ads and that kind of thing. Um, this is, was real popular around um, 
you know, a Thanksgiving. Uh, it actually still sells um, that instead of doing the vintage fonts and all that kind of funky stuff. I actually made a picture. Um, these pumpkins I hand drew. These are my pumpkins, but most everything else here is um, a vintage image that I grabbed and put in. So what is this? Oh, and this is one of the butterfly sheets that I also turned into tissue paper. So anyway, I think that was all I was going to tell you about all of that. So I just thought I would share. All right. Bye.